Hey everyone, welcome to another Grim Dawn skill overview video guide. Today, I'm covering Blade Trap. Blade Trap is a mid to high-ish level Nightblade ability where you throw out a Phantasmal Blade that creates a sort of burst of trapping blades that hold enemies still for a few seconds. So Blade Trap's text. Your command of Nightblade techniques allows you to entrap enemies within a prison of deadly phantasmal blades. So the skill box, it has a recharge. The duration is after the initial hit. And as you level the ability up, you increase the radius at which you can sort of get the burst of traps to hit the enemies. Blade trap, it's kind of a wonky hit when you actually get it on enemies. I don't know if there's some form of internal target maximum or if it just is weird about the way it hits, but if you aren't using its modifier, you'll pretty much hit the front of a crowd more than the back of a crowd. And I believe the radius at which you hit enemies is generated from the target you've hit. So when you hit something, you deal piercing damage and bleeding damage and you reduce the target's defensive ability. The default blade trap ability is great for weakening enemies and impairing their movement. It's not so much a damage ability, so you could really combine it with a lot of other abilities because, I mean, you're using it not for damage. You're using it to stop things from running at you. The one modifier is Devouring Blades. The Phantasmal Blades drain the life essence of the foes trapped within their grasp, transferring it to you. So this adds a chance to pierce to Blade Trap. It adds vitality damage, increases the pierce and bleeding damage, and adds a lifesteal component to this ability. So with Blade Trap, you're, like I said, you're mostly using it to entrap and debuff things. Everything else on it to me is kind of superfluous. So when we're talking about class synergies, I'm not really gonna talk about synergies within damage types. It's more of a concept of synergizing with the other abilities in the classes in the game. And I will note that Blade Trap is probably one of those abilities that can be combined with pretty much every every class, regardless of damage type, because it reduces defensive ability that makes it easier to hit and crit mobs. And because of the entrapment, it's helpful to keep yourself safe and to keep enemies away with it. Even if you're building like say, a weird, I don't know, Aether Ray or Kalidor's Tempest Spellbreaker, you could probably still work Blade Trap in, even though you're not dealing piercing or bleeding damage at all. The natural synergy to me is Phantasmal Blades within the Nightblade tree itself. Because yeah, the damages do mesh, but you can also just work it into you throwing blades out. Because you'll be just spewing the Phantasmal Blades out. You can trap enemies within a Blade Trap and spew more blades at them. It's great for just keeping enemies away. I actually use it with my Almarasta's Blade Burst Spellbreaker, partly because of the impairment, but also reducing the target's defensive ability is really nice for just outputting more damage. So like I said, you could really combine it with any class combination and build out there, provided you have the spare points for it to level it up a bit. I do think it's more than a one point wonder. I think it has to be focused on in order to get the full benefit out of the um, entrapment part of the ability so you can actually just hit a lot of things with it but let's say you're building a panetti spellbreaker um i would consider working blade arc in because you can blade arc um, blade trap in because you can blade trap a group of enemies and then just spam them down with missiles it also adds a different type of impairment into the build that say the knockdown from calador's tempest with rack of Ag agravex doesn't have and that Electra's Flash Freeze doesn't have. So Blade Trap, say, works against Flesh Hulks. So you can keep Flesh Hulks away from you with Blade Trap. Electra's Flash Freeze and Wrath of Agravex don't allow you to do that. Blade Trap works with Sabos, it works with Tricksters, it works with Blade Masters, it really does work with everything. So I don't think I need to go tree by tree by tree to point out synergies. Just know that you have fling the blades out, they'll catch a thing, and they'll hold the thing there for a short period of time. For Devotion, I actually think they're a pretty nice Devotion procker, especially when you've leveled them up a bit. 
on the character I'm using, I have Blizzard assigned to Blade Trap. So if this guy nails like say four to five enemies, it's almost a guaranteed Blizzard because Blade Trap will hit while the enemies are in the in the Blade Trap. There will most likely be a crit somewhere in there, which will cause a Blizzard to pop. You can otherwise assign an assortment of abilities to Blade Trap and have it work. I could definitely see taking Assassin's Mark and applying it to Blade Trap because you can blade trap a bunch of enemies and the mark gets put on them, so physical and pierce damage will be increased against them. So, blade masters that use blade trap would like that quite a bit. Um, you can use it to proc your living shadows. Um, you can use it to proc your elemental storms. You can use it, can't use it there, uh, to proc your whirlpools. I mean, if you've got um, acid spray, you can use it to proc that. You could use it to get your Wendigo's mark on things. You can use it to get your, um, witch fire on things. Wait, what's that called again? Eldritch fire on things. Hell, you can even get, you know, Falcon Swoop in there. There's a lot of abilities you can apply to Blade Trap and just use it to proc devotion abilities because Blade Trap is actually that, that good at doing that. I've used it in streams a lot where I'll, I'll just fling, just flick the blades into a group of enemies that's far away and a blizzard hits them and it, it will most likely kill most of the enemies in that group. And if not, it'll weaken them significantly enough that the character can just walk up and kill them easily. Now against bosses, I will note that the entrapment doesn't really work. However, it still hits, which means you're still reducing defensive ability, which means you're hitting bosses harder. Oh, for a blade trap set, there is one, actually. It's the Demon Slayer's Garb. The Demon Slayer's Garb is kind of a blade magic set. It gives bonuses to Blade Spirit, Blade Trap, and Phantasmal Blades. I believe it gives... Is that a plus five to Blade Trap? In addition, given bonuses to Blade Barrier, Phantasmal Blades, um, Blade Spirit, and actually to the different parts of Phantasmal Blades. So if you want a blade magic character that's heavily based in the Nightblade, um, the Demon Slayer's Garb is actually themed towards that. So that's gonna cover Blade Trap. It's a pretty handy little utility ability that can help out a lot of builds in keeping enemies away and weakening them. So, thanks for watching this Grim Dawn skill overview video guide. I will see you guys next time.